gift to every nation. For the plowing, sowing, reaping, silent growth while we are sleeping, future needs in our safe keeping. Thanks be to God. In the just reward of Help we give our neighbor in our worldwide task of caring for the hungry and despairing in the harvest we are sharing. God's will is done for the harvest of the Spirit. We all inherit for these wonders that astound us, for the truths that still confound us, most of all that love has found us. Thanks be to In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. your spirit. We gather in the Lord's name, even though we are scattered all over the world watching this recording, but we are one in Christ who invites us to worship together. Let us take a moment to acknowledge our need for God's pardon and receive the peace which the Lord alone can give. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us the life everlasting. Amen.
Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord, You, son of man, I have appointed watchmen for the house of Israel. When you hear me saying anything, you shall warn them for me. If I tell the wicked, O wicked one, you shall surely die, and you do not speak out to dissuade the wicked from his way, the wicked shall die for his guilt. But I will hold you responsible for his death. But if you warn the wicked, trying to turn him from his way, and he refuses to turn from his way, he shall die for his guilt. But you shall save yourself. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Harden not your heart. 
Harden not your hearts as at Mirabah, as in the days of Massa in the desert, where your fathers tempted me, they tested me, though they had seen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, owe nothing to anyone except to love one another. For the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. The commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not kill, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and whatever other commandments there may be are summed up in this saying, namely, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no evil to the neighbor. Hence, love is the fulfillment of the law. The word of the Lord. Reconciliation. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with, and with your, spirit. your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If your brother or sister sins against you, go and tell them his fault between you and him alone. If he listens to you, you have won over your brother or sister. If he does not listen, take one or two others along with you, so that every fact may be established on the testimony of two or three witnesses. If he refuses to listen to them, tell the church. If he refuses to listen even to the church, then treat him as you would a Gentile or a tax collector. Amen, I say to you, Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Again, amen, I say to you, if two of you agree on earth about anything for which they are to pray, it shall be granted to them by my heavenly Father. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Most of us learned to pray when we were very young. 
Perhaps our parents, grandparents, or an auntie taught us how to pray. Maybe we were encouraged to pray the rosary or other devotions as a family. We were taken to church for Mass. We learned that prayer is important. At the end of today's Gospel reading, Jesus talks about the importance of prayer as well as the effectiveness of praying together. When he says, If two of you agree on earth about anything for which they are to pray, it shall be granted to them by my heavenly Father, for where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. Jesus is saying something important about prayer. It's not only important to pray by myself. Jesus told us earlier in the gospel not to pray in order for others to see that we pray. He said, don't pray on the street corners for show. Go to your room and pray in private. Was Jesus saying not to pray with others? Of course not. But there is a difference between praying with others and praying to be noticed by others. I can pray with great show so that everyone will think that I am so holy. That prayer is not for God's glory. It's for my own glory. Jesus teaches us today that praying with others is also very good. To unite our prayers with others adds something to our prayer. We are supported, we are encouraged, we pray with one voice. Jesus tells us that his presence is felt in a particular way when we gather with others to pray. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them, he tells us. One of the most important times that we come together for prayer, of course, is the Mass. The Mass is not a private prayer. It's not a bunch of people getting together and each saying their own particular prayers. It's not a time for me to go into my own little world and talk to God. That kind of prayer is very important. And we should pray by ourselves every day. That is a time for some personal and intimate moments with the Lord. We open our hearts to God. We have a dialogue with God. But community prayer is also very important. It's not a matter of one or the other. At Mass, we unite our voices together in praise and thanks to God. Our active participation is important. That's why it was so difficult when all the churches were closed. It was not just a matter that we were not able to receive Holy Communion as if that was some private thing. We also did not have that bond of offering the Mass together, which is so central to our Catholic faith. Vatican II teaches us that the Mass requires our full, active, and conscious participation. In other words, we are not just spectators at the Mass. The Mass is not something that the priest does and the congregation watches. Our participation should be full and active. Concretely, this means that we all join in the spoken prayers as much as possible. We try to sing the songs. Again, we have missed that aspect when we were told not to sing at Mass for a month or two. Thank God we are now able to sing together at our outdoor Masses. During Mass, we listen attentively to the Scripture readings. Through those readings, God speaks to us. 
Our responsorial psalm is our way of prayerfully accepting and responding to God's word, attentive listening to the prayers that the priest prays should lead us to respond fully, actively, and consciously. And so our responses should be enthusiastic. Our amen should be strong. We should strive to know the prayers from memory. Pray them to, praying them together takes a little discipline. I can't just go at my own pace. We sing the songs with faith because they are prayers. To the best of our ability, we join in. As St. Augustine once said, one who sings prays twice. You know, we refer to the Mass as a form of liturgy. And that word actually comes from two Greek words, meaning the work or the action of the people. So liturgy is the work of the people of God. It's the whole community together praising God. How wonderful it is, thanks to our present-day technology, that we can link people together who aren't even physically present, who can't be, who shouldn't be present in a large group of people, celebrating this liturgy online gives us the opportunity to still connect, to still pray for one another. We shouldn't think of it just as watching the priest on TV. We should think of all the other people who are joining in this celebration. Maybe not at that exact same moment, but we're linked because we are one body in Christ. We celebrate one Eucharist. We are a people of God. What a joy and privilege it is for us to offer this prayer of praise and thanksgiving to God together. We now profess our faith using the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Jesus told us where two or three gather together in prayer, he is there and he hears our requests. Let us take a moment now to voice our prayers to the Lord. For bishops, priests, and deacons who labor to faithfully share the good news, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those given authority to uphold and enforce the law, that they may respect those they serve and apply the law with justice and compassion. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who suffered painful loss in the tragic events of September the 11th, that they continue to find comfort in the promise of eternal life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who labor in unhealthy and life-threatening situations, that their employers strive to improve their work conditions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all workers in the vineyard of the Lord, that they find joy and fulfillment in their calling, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and those who care for them, that they know the compassionate love of Jesus, especially Deacon Rick Pomfrey, 
We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who have died, especially Norm and the Nora Ellis, Father Jim Burson, Michael Neres, Father John Donahue, and Barry Grimes, for whom this Mass is being offered, and all victims of war and violence, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the petitions written in our book of petitions and all the intentions we hold faithfully in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Hear all the prayers that we confidently offer in the name of Jesus, who is Lord forever and ever. a place for the sadness hold on to love there is a season of gladness hold on to love when pain and confusion seem endless hold on to love we cultivate healing through kindness hold on to love Violence seeks to destroy us. Hold on to love. Acts of compassion restore us. Hold on to love. Hold on to love where hope is found. Hold on to love where joy abounds. Hold on to love where Let us pray together that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, who is our Almighty Father. May the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice of your hands, hands for the, the praise and glory of his name. For our good, good and the good, good of all his holy, holy church. church. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and your, with spirit. your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, we lift them, them up, up to, the to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right, right and, just. and just. It is truly right and just to give you thanks and to raise to you a hymn of glory and praise O Lord, Father of infinite goodness, for by the word of your Son's gospel, you have brought together one church from every people, tongue, and nation, and have filled her with life by the power of your Spirit. You never cease through her to gather the whole human race into one. Manifesting the covenant of your love, she dispenses without ceasing the blessed hope of your kingdom and shines bright as the sign of your faithfulness, which in Christ Jesus our Lord you promised would last for eternity. And so with all the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, while with all the church as one voice we acclaim. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst, 
when we are gathered by his love, and when, as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the night before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the cup, gave you thanks, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the cup of blessing. Look with favor on the offering of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us. And grant that, by the power of the Spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Lord, renew your church by the light of the gospel. Strengthen the bond of unity between the faithful and the pastors of your people, together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, and the whole order of bishops, then in a world torn by strife and disunity, your people may shine forth as a prophetic sign of unity and concord. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your presence, and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us, when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There, in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and martyrs, with St. Patrick, St. John Eudes, and all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Joining our hearts and voices as one, we pray the prayer Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, kingdom, the the power, power, and the the glory glory are yours, now now and and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, 
whom you nourish and endow with life through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. I wish you all a wonderful Labor Day weekend. Please stay safe and avoid crowds. The Lord be with you. And with your, with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Let us go in the peace of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. For the healing.